Hello everybody, I'd like to introduce you to the modular Quadratron board from Tantratron. This is a board which is modular built, that means we have four isolated output stages and represents one part of the equation of a power amplifier system. You see below two modules. One is a board module from Arduino, the Arduino Mega 2560. And you see um, next to it, you see uh, the proto shield I did build um, with two import um, ports for um, the signal generator I'm using. So here in this um, board you can see I mounted already um, IGBT's chips and um, they have also this IGBT chip does not have a free will diode so you add externally the, um, the diode um, to allow recovery time, very fast recovery time. So because this board is modular section you have to look at the output uh, side and you have to connect it in into an output circuit like a coil or a motor and you have to do that in a specific way uh, the way it is requested by your application however I know that most of you um, are not too familiar with building electronic circuits especially with amplifiers so I would like to raise a question if someone would be interested to have this board ready built for the input and output stage or here in this modular section you can download all these files all the Gerber files and all the Eagle files from a website from Tundratron which I will post here as well so if you want to do it yourself you have the opportunity it's an open source board however if you say well I want to have something completely done I would like to get some feedback from you um, that you tell me yes I would be interested in this or this combination this would be important for me to get an understanding about how, what, how much requirement or needs is out there so that I can start um, producing this board for um, the energy community if you want so here's a 2560 as you can see here is a, a CPU um, chip which has a serial interface so it means you're running your Java script on your Java application on um, the Arduino board and then from a PC you control your function and here is a PNC board I'm holding up here is for my signal generator I did build from Protoshield so that's a generic um, interface where you can build whatever you want and that's been compatible to this board so you see here on the side um, the rails so you click that on, on top of it uh, so you have to make sure that the pins are correct and um, then you can get started with it. So I give you a brief overview of the setup here. So we have so oscilloscope on that side. So we have two TDI pulse generator synced to each other, gate triggered and phase shifted and all functionalities you can imagine of we're going to use them later on so they're both tuned to each other this one below is digital and above it's analog so they're linked and that becomes important later on so we have still here my single driver not isolated my power stage and that goes still into this power MOSFET module then the, se the setup, experimental setup is I going to use the bipolar Tesla coil and simply capacitance um, have we going to go via these two um, spheres. It has no other meaning than just to uh, create a capacitive coupling which will create a, a resonance and that will be have a feedback on the oscilloscope you're going to see that if the uh, fluorescent bulb in the background illuminates or not is not relevant at that stage but I have it here only for as a reference point there so we're going to focus here we have I have connected again the high voltage probe on um, 
so one side of sphere and I have a current probe on the other side so both values I will have it as a mass calculations and set up as well so that is our bench um, configuration and we're gonna run everything through as via this bench with our modification to have an idea where we are there are a couple of contenders I like to pursue here I have I'm not using the signal generator now from the oscilloscope I use a high precision um, TDI oscilloscope I have a 10 decimal point um, precision in here and that becomes very, very important so the first one I have here is 24 kilohertz and I have peak to peak measurement here around 700 watt peak to peak and I have 1.5 watt input and I have a couple of more going up in the frequency range here say what we have here I stop only on the, on, on the part ones which are give me about more than 400 watt on peak to peak so I scroll fairly fast through So let's see so here we come nice in here as well so one thing I want to put your uh, attention on it the blue line here is now from the driver that means that comes directly from the amplifier output so that is important you see here it says a lot of ringing going on so this signal is not really clean at all when we go later on to um, the Tantra Tom board it looks absolutely different so this one I have to say I'm not happy with this with the ringing and so on um, it's not very precise so let's move on Okay, we have the current here on 4, so that's your current value at the moment, and voltage is here. Let's go up, see where we are. Okay, 300, 400 watt, 500 watt, 600 watt, 700 watt, 800, 900 watt. Okay, my um, fluorescent bulb is is illuminated so that is the next peak around 166 165 kilohertz here as you can see here yeah 950 watt peak to peak not sure if you can see that I'll leave it a little bit like that um, it's about 2.4 2.5 watt input at 30 volt let's move on by the way I have almost no yeah at the moment 40 milliamp on the driver um, input power side so here the next one should be around 300 something 350 whatever I have here Okay. See here it's latching. Let's go back. But it has no impact here on the power side. What do we have here? Three hundred and ten, twenty. 30, 40, 50. Well, there's nothing more coming. So we had the peak here around 160. Was it on that side? However, that was with this amplifier. So that plays definitely a role. Let's go back to that value we had before. Seven, eight, 
920, 940, 950. So the set looks 166 kilohertz. So we take note of that. And we move on now to the Tantraton board. So now the Tantraton board is active. We have approximately the same power usage here. However, on okay on the driver side, I have more. I have a DC DC converter which converts the 5 volt to 15 volt. However, here I see less power at that frequency. Let's see if uh, what we can do here. Let me go over there. Okay. No. Let's go up here. No, we are still at 20% duty cycle. But what you see here is that the signal is cleaner from the driver, however. That is... No, it comes out similar like that as well. Interesting. Let's go down. That is at 107, so that's what we had before. Let's go further down. It was something three four hundred here at that range, very little one dot two watt input at the moment at thirty five kilohertz. Don't want to go too far down because five hundred six hundred seven hundred. Let me recycle that one at sixty kilohertz produce quite a lot eight hundred nine hundred watt yeah I'm at thousand watt here at the moment thousand watt at 14 kilohertz so this IGPT has a complete different reaction um, within this coil so it's very very hard to compare both of them um, the, the power was fed at the moment 30 volt and uh, it's it's all uh, 2.1 watt input on um, as amplifier stage but about thousand watt peak to peak output so that has a higher performance um, okay on a different frequency range so it's the same frequency as it was before around 160 it has a very low um, feedback before we move on, um, I want to show you um, here in detail from that uh, Tantraton board, the output side. So the blue one is now directly picked up on the output side on um, the train. No, at here, as the STB is called, it's different. It has collector, maybe data as gate. So here you see this 20% is the pulse width very small that's about 40 kilohertz let me go back to find it's about 809 watt 14 one kilowatt look at that so here you have current 760 milliamp that is a lot and here you see the small peaks coming in here it's a very very sharp very precise. Let's see if I can fine tune that. Oh, yes, 
Very nice. 13.95 kilowatt, 1.05, 1.10. I can tune it very very nicely with uh, the pulse generator 1.10 kilowatt peak to peak I think that's about it, yes 1.10 kilowatt um, peak to peak at the moment at 0.066 1.10 uh, one 1.9 watt input from the high voltage power supply. 